Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jordana and if not then thank you for coming back and taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And today I'm bringing you my finale for the project pan that I already have. I'm going to show you the products that I haven't shown you, the ones that I finished, the few ones that I didn't finish but I'm gonna either declutter or just put back in my collection or put them on my kit and then another few that I added in my project pan privately I didn't really do it privately to be honest I filmed a video but the footage got lost in my computer it got damaged somehow so I couldn't show you that I added these products and I thought the footage was right and when I went to edited it wasn't and the products were already finished so I couldn't refilm it so I'm gonna show you products that I added up after finishing some of the products and I finished those also replacing some products that I had I don't know if that made any sense but I'm hoping you understand what I'm saying like always at the end of this video I'm gonna show you the total so far then add up the total of this video and then show you the complete total of the makeup that I finished this year. So if you want to see the finale of this project pan, the total of how much I finished this year, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna let you guys know that I have notes here on my planner from this project pan. And this project pan was 38 products and I finished so far 29 products that were on the beginning of the first video of the project pan and then i added and finished seven more products and those i'm gonna show them to you on this video as well so the products that i haven't showed you that i finished are my maybelline fit me this was a great concealer and this is actually what i think is the best from the drugstore so far of what I've tried and I even removed the stopper and finished it truly I was bored of it because that's something that I found that happens when you are panning a lot that if you don't really love the product like true love then you get tired of it and you just want to get rid of it but this was a really really good one and if I have to buy a uh, shade to mix for my clients for concealer since I have almost the entire range of NARS then I can add uh, maybe a little fit me to mix with those because these are a wonderful formula another another thing I finished is the bronzer the makeup forever matte bronzer this one was amazing I actually love 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 this bronzer and you guys know that in my last project pan I finished my other makeup forever bronzer the pro bronze fusion this one is the matte bronzer in the shade 20 I think this formula was discontinued or maybe you can find it in the makeup forever website but this was really good and I love the shade it was great for every day and I completely finished it I used to use it as a transition shade but also as a bronzer every day and it's just flawless makeup forever makes beautiful bronzers but I have a lot so I just wanted to get rid of a few that were older in my collection this product I've been working on since forever and this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector and this one you can see that I finished it completely I would repurchase the feed me concealer and the makeup forever bronzer but this one I wouldn't I think for this weather this is too creamy and it can move it doesn't really smudge that much but it's a thicker consistency and I prefer doe foot applicator concealers or correctors that they blend easier and are not as creamy and thick as this was but if you want something to brighten your under eye this will work beautifully and I was lately using it to brighten my under eye my chin and my nose a lip product that I finished and it looks super disgusting is the Tarte Lip Surgeons Natural Matte Lip in the shade Lucky. This was my favorite for a long time, but I had only a tiny amount left and I wanted to finish it and I did, so now I can move on to other lipsticks in my collection. For lip products, I put the By Beauty 022 lip pencil and this is how low I could take it because I can't really sharpen it and you guys know if it's already so uncomfortable to use it then I wouldn't use it I wouldn't purchase this unless they change the cap because this doesn't really fit well and it just it bothers me that it comes off it uh, damages the pencil it just it's just a bad cap for a pencil but the pencil in itself was good and I love that by beauty has a fruit based makeup so you can actually eat it and it won't do anything bad 
to your body and it also has more of a close expiration date on the products so that way you know when you buy them you have to just use them not let them go to waste for black eyeliner i was using the sephora waterproof black eyeliner this one you can see it's also a tiny tiny baby and i can't use this anymore it's just too hard for me to use but this is a great formula and you want to know something this eye pencil i think would be good to replace every other eye pencil i've tried from sephora because the price difference is so huge and the quality is so up there that this is worth super worth the money this is about $11 the full size and the other pencils I've tried are within the range of $18 and $24 so this is definitely worth the money and it will last you a long time if you are more into gel eyeliners and when you're gonna use a pencil this won't much it's so waterproof and so beautiful on the skin I mean it doesn't talk on your eye it just works perfectly okay so now let's talk about the Panda palette for the Lorac Pro 3 this palette I've been using since forever, so I actually, I don't want to see it anymore in my collection. I told you guys that this Panda palette was that as soon as I panned every single shade, it didn't matter how big the pan, I was going to just declutter this. I already know that I'm going to give it to one of my sisters-in-law because she will appreciate it and finish it for sure. This palette, it's a really nice palette. I have to say that I fell in love with it the more I played with it. And the shade that I wanted to finish or to just pan to finish this palette or get it out of my collection was the shade Blanc. Oh my god, that was so hard to pan. Actually, the Lorac Pro 3 has more difficulty when it comes to panning than the other Lorac Pro palettes. The formula on some of these eyeshadows is not as soft as the Lorac 1 and 2. They are mostly beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows, except for Medallion. That one is a crappy, crappy shade. There are a lot of shades that you can use here for every day. You can use this palette in conjunction with other palettes. It has beautiful neutrals. It has a pop of color, which is amethyst, which is a wine shade. It has a black. It has brow bone highlighters. It has colors to set your primer. It has everything you need in a palette. It has a lot of transition shades. You can darken it up or keep it light. It has mattes, it has shimmers. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette, so I would highly recommend it. It will last you a long time, because this was new when I started my project pan in February. This is almost a 10-month-old palette, and it looks beaten up, but I could still use it for 6 months, I bet, and it would go strong. So yeah, just show the love that your palettes deserve, and give it to someone that's going to use them when you're not going to use them more. So, this is going away, and it was nice knowing you maybe one day we'll see each other again but i have a lot of palettes to finish so i'm gonna consider this an empties okay now i'm gonna show you products that i got to replace products that i finished i don't know where i put my tarte camera lashes mascara i think i threw it out but that mascara was the one that i had in my project pan and i finished that it was just the sample size and then I replaced that with the Givenchy Deep Black Noir Interdate Mascara. This one is the one with the funky wand. I have to be honest, this didn't impress me. I hated, hated, hated the wand with passion. It made me feel intrigued the first time I opened it and saw the wand. But after, when I was just applying it to my eyes, I just didn't like it. And it has a rose scent that's stronger than life. So I wouldn't buy it. This was sent to me, but I actually wouldn't purchase it. It's so expensive and not worth the money for me. Not because of the formula, but because of the wand. I have two lip liners here that I used up just to replace my lip liner from Bite Beauty. The first one is this NARS lip liner. And this one, I have to say, the name dropped off. And I don't even remember which shade it was. This is one of those pencils that you just have to move the bottom to make it come out and i prefer those than having to sharpen a lip pencil and it also comes with a little sharpener at the bottom so that you can sharpen the tip of the pen i never use this but it works if you want to use it so this one is gone and that's pretty pricey so i wanted to get rid of it and another one that i know i'm gonna repurchase these i love with passion this is the this is i think my third one or my fourth one 
of the Makeup Forever 3C lip liners. These are bulletproof, amazing. This shade is perfect for overlining your lips to make them look bigger. I just adore this. And I have the shade 2C and that one is wonderful as well. So I would highly recommend this. When I finished Lucky, I decided that I wanted to add another lipstick that was already dying. So that's when I decided to grab Pure Hollywood from Anastasia and you can see right there, I'm gonna show you inside. I don't know if you can see, but you can see on the sides that this is basically empty. And I didn't wanna remove, and I didn't wanna remove the stopper because lipstick gets wonky and gross. And when you remove the stopper, it will get a lot in the wand and that's not like concealer that you can spread it all over. It's, it's just disgusting. So I know because I'm, looking at it inside it's really really empty and i adore this shade this is one of my favorite shades but now i'm gonna just show some love to a strip which is the other one that it's similar it's just amazing as this one this is my favorite liquid lipstick i didn't know if you could tell but this is another one that died and i'm really happy to be finishing lip products because you guys know that i'm in a no buy permanent no buy when it comes to lip, lip products. Another mascara that I finished is the Roller Lash Mascara. This is a deluxe size sample and these are wonderful. I love this mascara but the favorite mascara and the one that I'm gonna purchase from now on is the one that I'm wearing and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Fake Lash Hydrofuge because that one is the only mascara that I use for the gym that never smudges on me. It doesn't matter how much I sweat. So that one is my one and only but this one it's really good if you're using it just for every day not for the gym since you guys know i'm really proud of this but i finished five foundations on this project pan i added this deluxe size because i wanted to finish something more from my foundation drawer since i added a few more foundations so this one is the makeup forever ultra hd in the shade 415 this is in the shade 128 and this one actually had a lot of products. I got a feel for the foundation and I have to say that this is a beautiful foundation but I still prefer the stick even though it's not as good to wear here in Barranquilla where the weather is so humid and hot. Since I finished the matte bronzer from Makeup Forever, I picked up the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And I think I have pictures on my phone but this had almost half of the product in it but I used it every day and I adore, adore this bronzer. I even put it in my 12 pans of Christmas from other palette and I already finished it. So this is one of those bronzers that I will repurchase when I'm finished with all of the ones that I have because it's just that good. The scent is amazing. So Too Faced bronzers, I just highly, highly recommend them if you're looking for one, if you want to start out trying makeup products or just trying bronzer and not blush or whatever. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzers are amazing and they have them in different shades. Uh, one for fair skin, one for medium skin and one for darker skin. And to replace my eye pencil, the black one, I grab this one. This is from MAC and it's the pencil in the shade Costa Rige. You can see here how tiny the pencil looks. It's just really tiny so I couldn't use it anymore but this one I'm gonna repurchase because this is one of my favorite eyeliners but I have to finish a few of the Urban Decay eyeliners that I have because if not they're gonna go bad so I'm just gonna work on a few of my brown and black pencils just to get them out of the way and get back to this one because this is beautiful and now I'm gonna show you two products that I know that I'm gonna finish them I don't know when because this is the finale I'm planning on using them on every client this December, but these are liquid highlighters. I know that I'm never gonna buy a liquid highlighter unless I have one and that's it for my entire collection and that way I can use that and show it love without having a bunch that are gonna go bad. This is the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting and this is actually right here where the color changed. And it was sort of like right here. This I don't like. It's just, now that I've put it in my project pan, it's just too subtle for me. I just 
don't see the point in it maybe if you mix it with your foundation or whatever but it's just not a product for me it makes my foundation oily because i'm oily so it doesn't really work for me and what doesn't work for me i don't really put put it on my clients faces so this is something that i sometimes put on the highest points of the face or whatever but it's just it's not worth it for me and it's super pricey so i'm gonna try to finish it this year and maybe you'll see it on my empties but i'm never gonna repurchase this and this is another one of the products that I'm not going to repurchase. And this one I prefer better than the one that I just showed you from Kevin Aquan. This is the NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. And this has lasted me forever. And I've used quite a lot, but it still has a lot to go. And it's not something that I go to every day. It looks way better when you're tan. And sometimes I even mix it with my body cream or I apply my body lotion and then on top of a little bit of this or I highlight my chest or whatever because it looks beautiful. I'm not obsessed with it and what can I say? It just... I don't like liquid highlighters. I prefer powder products than cream products. I was thinking about buying hot sand but now that I know how hard it is to go through something like this, I will never spend my money on that. I actually finished a lot since I put it in my project pan. Used a lot because if you knew how this works, like I'm gonna just show you. One little drop, it will work on your entire hand and it still looks super pigmented so you have to even diffuse it more. So you only need the tiniest drop to make this work. It just works better I think for the body. So if you're looking for something to highlight your body during summer or your legs, maybe that's the way I will finish it. I recommend it and it's beautiful the formula doesn't get greasy or anything if you are not a cream anything fan then just don't get it and then last but not least I'm gonna show you products that I decided to put on my kit because the shades were wrong it didn't work for me or whatever reason the first one is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. This is too light coverage for me. What I'm going to do is just use it to mix other shades that I have when I, when I need a lighter concealer because this is actually pretty light. This is in the shade Light Neutral. So yeah, I liked it but I wouldn't repurchase it and I'm going to just use it to mix it and I'm going to put it on my kit because it doesn't really work for me since the coverage is not what I expect from a concealer. Another one that I'm going to put on my kit because I... I got tired of fighting with it and I really want to use it up. Is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. This one doesn't have that much left, but I'm planning it on using it up. So when a client with reddish hair sits on my chair, I'm going to pull this out and use it. I'm going to just apply a few drops of Duraline and it will work wonders for it. But I'm not gonna try to use it on myself when my hair is not that red. This is the Clarins Insta Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 01. I actually got another full size of this one because this is one of my favorite products but in a different shade. And this has almost like two uses left or something like that because it doesn't really want to die. But this is my favorite lip shade. This, is, this has been my favorite lip product of the year. I adore this. This is wonderful. Um, it hydrates your lips and it makes them look just plump and beautiful and young. So I would highly recommend it and this is going to die soon so you'll see it on my empties. Another product that I have on my list but I succeeded was that this product was the Buxom Tahiti Bronzer. was brand new and I just wanted to use it and you can see that the waves look used a little bit. It was completely full and now it's a little bit flat in the middle. So this one was also a success for me. And now I know how much I love this bronzer. And I know that I'm going to pull it out some more. And the scent of it is just like summer. It's so, so, so beautiful. As for the NARS Brow Defining Cream in the shade El Dior, you can see right here how much I've actually used it. I haven't hit pan, but I'm about to hit pan on it. And this one has been well loved. It's the only thing I've been using to do my brows. It takes forever for it to finish, but I've been loving the way my brows turn out with this. And I always, always mix it with one drop of Duraline. Since I started putting Duraline on it, the formula, I think it's better and easier to work with it. So I would highly recommend the NARS Brow Defining Cream. I'm actually thinking about getting them 
after I work more on my Anastasia powders to put every shade on my kit because I've been really obsessed with them. And then another product that I know I will never repurchase as I will never repurchase any of this type of mattifying primers. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Mattifying Primer and this one I didn't even touch. So I used it about two times and then that was it. This is one of these consistencies that's that white and you only need the tiniest amount to dot on your face. This is one of those products that even though it, it keeps your oils from coming out, it makes your foundation look like you have crocodile skin and that's not a cute look. So I'm just gonna try to put it on my kit and try to play with it more, maybe with my sisters-in-law, if it works underneath foundation. But so far, I don't like it and if I could, I would just sell it. Okay guys, so that was it for this video and this project pan. So the only pan that I have left on my channel is the 12 pans of Christmas and I'm gonna actually film an update right now after finishing this. So I think this project pan was a real success because because I put five products back in my collection but I actually used up 29 products plus 7, 36 products and I started with 39 so that's a great great progress and great use and I know that it's gonna be a lot of money when I uh, add the products that I finished to my total so what I'm gonna do is right here I'm gonna put the total that I have right now that I finished and then I'm gonna add up the total of the products that I showed you on this video and then the complete total of everything I finished this year and maybe after the finale of my 12 pants of Christmas I will reach 3,000 that's what I'm hoping for if I go over 3,000 I would be super excited so let me know in the comments below what products did you finish this year and which products you recommend for me and if you like the products that I showed you or not and how did you finish them because the panning community is amazing so thank you guys for supporting every single one of these panning videos and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps a lot also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be part of my youtube family follow me on my social media instagram facebook snapchat and twitter and that's it guys i'll see you on the next one bye